Hello everyone. Today I have three little guides for you to help you out in dying light. If these guides help you out in any way, please like the video, subscribe and hit that bell button to be kept informed of future videos just like this one. Okay, the first video will be about easy nighttime XP using a safe room on the ground floor in the old town. We're gonna to kill some volatiles and get real up and close and personal with these ugly sons of bitches. The second video will be based in the slums and it's about gaining easy disaster packages. We'll get five of these each time um, using the Stuffed Turtle Hotel. And the third video will be a quick tip just to help you pick up those bolted livers with a minimal of fuss. Let's get a <laughs> get away from these weird sons of bitches. This is the um, the faceless in the following. So we get get into this thing just about now. Yeah. I don't know what was going on here. I was just about to start this video, and <laughs> there's some sort of weird vortex going on in me. In my safe house it comes right out through the roof. If anyone knows what this is or seen this before, please get in touch. Let me know. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Let's go into the sky, man. Yeah. Okay. up through the building, whatever it is. Weird, really weird. Hmm. Anyhow, so we're here at the tower in the um, old town and we're going just behind the tower to the east. I'll show you, show you in the daytime, this is, this is where it is in the daytime. And this is the guy you do the mission to with a machete. You do several levels of the mission with a machete. He's on the base on the beach to start with. And then he comes here when you're finished. You do the last one here, the last one or last two here, and you get the final version of that machete. And then he just turns into a shop. You know, you can you can go in and buy stuff from him. He's, uh, he's selling a few items at the moment. But what it does do is it leaves you a, a door on the ground floor and this is a safe room so the volatiles will come in here but they get burned by the uv lights and go out again so we can quite easily stay by this door and just pop in and out that little turtle head and kill things and go back in and be perfectly safe i'm just going to kill a few of these in the daytime Bunch of them over here. The yeah, trouble with this glitch is the, the night time only lasts that seven minutes. And then there's the rest of the times in daytime again. But we're not far from not far from a bed over at the tower. We need to run back and forth to do this. to do is craft some throwing stars. The explosive throwing stars are very good at night because they attract lots of attention. You can stay here in your, your safe house and just throw explosive stars and blow lots of them up. You'll end up, do this for a while, you'll end up with a hell of a lot of package on the uh, Yeah, don't die. If you're out too long and you do die, just like that, you will respawn back at the tower, so it's not a biggie. Back at the tower again, and we're oh, back, with the, <laughs> back with a weird vortex. Right, we're going to sleep now and go back there at night time. Okay, so in night. Now it's raining now on my night time, and I can no longer see the crash map. So we're going to have to guess at this one. It's down there somewhere, it's slightly up to the right. So I'm going to take a leap of faith. 
and go for it. Uh, yeah! Go for it. Cool. Now I have to turn the light on. Okay. I go up over the building. No one ever walk around the floor. Attract too much attention. She should be a pretty safely get down in your in your building. I've left the door open, so it's easier. I, think I do actually run slightly past at this point, but yeah, the tunnel's slightly past it. It's there. Okay, so we're in. Now we start causing havoc. come in and they see it's getting burned and they go straight back out again. They can come in and hit you. You see how they're burning when they're inside. I don't like it very much. I don't like it up them. I mean if you've got time you could do this for hours. Doing a lot of XP at night and relative safety. <laughs> These are not the exploding stars, it's the fire ones. enough of them, you still kill them. Oh, where's he going? <laughs> He's running up, you have a zombie. They're much harder to kill. They've got a reasonable, reasonable blade on them. They're much harder to kill with a blade. Even the electric. And you eventually go down. You can easily get white out and one hit. So yeah. Get a bit nervous going outside. I'm gonna make some more stars up. Where they gone? Yeah, make a few of these ones up. Explosive ones that create a lot more tension much faster. Avoid them without a knock. Then put them in firecrackers, draw the attention, and then take them out with your normal stars. Mad. You've got a few volatiles here, though. Oh my god, I can't 
can't hit him for shit. How did he miss all them? But I've got him again. Oh, and all sorts going on here. Oh, wow, it stars again. Let's try some of these. already. They're fun then, I like those. It's a bit of light as well. Explosion the car. They don't take out the volatiles though. Just stand there and stare at it. safe house hitting him. It doesn't go red like you're in pursuit. You need to poke your head out the door a bit just to get that pursuit to start. Okay, I think we survived the night. Start picking some packages up. There's quite a few to pick up. Fresh one. Didn't actually yield that much this time. Don't know better to be short time on this. I've done this before and I've got in quite good um, rewards from the volatiles. Okay, he just jumped up there about using his hands. Hmm. And 
just about sums it up for this one. Just chop a few more heads off. Got a few packages down. Back to the safety. Have a lot of fun with them, them bombs. Okay, and we're going to do some easy disaster packages. We're going to the Stuffed Turtle Hotel in the slums. I'll just show you where this is on the map, map first of all. On the outside looks something like this. These doors. And what I do first of all is get this electricity off because all the floors are electrified. If you've got the grappling hook like I have, you can quite easily just grapple right to the front door, turn the switch off, easy, sorted. Shit, the pretty easy to switch broke down. Here. One just there, so the torch on so you can see better. There's one just here, and that one, and one up the far side. Okay, and that one as well. Now we've got an easy pick lock this door, but the other side's full of zombies. Now there's one exploding zombie. And you turn right and you go through here. On the left hand door, there's an exploding zombie in there, so you're not going to go in there first. Go in the right side first, and be close enough and it'll explode without hurting us. First of all, we're going to let this lock through and take them out with some Molotovs. Burn, baby, burn. Cells down, we'll go through the door. Nice and easy. Oh, you're just gonna stand there, aren't you? Stand there in your suit, immune from the fire. <laughs> yeah, very good, yeah, yeah. Look at you, yeah. You can't stand there. Can you? ones. Uh, jump over this board here. Here the other one exploded. Yeah. The one is on the floor and stamp it on his head. Okay, there's a package there. Need to sleep. And go over here. We go in here, you see the one that's exploded all over the floor. And there's the last one. That's it, easy. Piece of piss. That's your five easy packages. And we'll just pick up what's on the floor. As soon as you leave the door, you can repeat this. You don't have to go back to save or anything like that. You can go back out the door. Come back in, starts again. So you can repeat this over and over and over pretty quick. That wasn't too long, was it? show you where we are on the map. It's the stuffed turtle here and there's the where are we? That's the tower right there. So it's a little bit north 
northwest of the tower. If you go back in now, loading screen. You come back in so you can start it all over again. We'll straight that door again. Turn it off. Shit the goddamn switch broke down. I found it to get bit smart there. You got those packages again. Again. A lot's really easy one. Again, look. Like, you know, I'll just stand in the bar, I don't care. <laughs> Getting hurt this time. Yeah, I love the slow motion. Brilliant. I love this game. The game's brilliant. If you haven't got it, you should go and get it. It must be cheap now on the Xbox Store or the PlayStation Store. Mm -hmm. Is it on PlayStation? I mean, it's on PlayStation. Look, get it on Xbox. It's got to, such a lot of fun. We're having uh, 10 free updates. That one didn't explode this time. We're having 10 free updates this year. He did turn out even before. Okay. <laughs> Pick up that 10th package. That's that. Can't beat that for some quick packages. Ooh, pardon the pun. My last video, we're going to pick up some of these bolt delivers. I'm coming here on a map. The uh, what's the tower? The tower's down there. So I'm going to go to night time. I've already killed all the zombies in the area in the daytime. So I go back to night time. I've already killed the zombies in the area in the daytime to make it easier for me. So when I come to night time quickly, there's very few in the area. You see out the front here. You get on the fence. It's out the front they're all dead. There's nothing over there. There's normally quite a few wandering around here. Can't get over the fence. Out of the front now, I've killed them all. I'll just turn the torch off. So we're going to walk around the bus slide slowly. Let's creep up on this bolter here. Come around that side behind him. Yeah. Just take him down nice and silently. Search, get that liver. Carry on around the loop. Get around the bus. Back on the roof. Yeah. Ooh, there. Back on the roof and we're safe again. Can't get any easier than that, can it? I had a bit of a nightmare trying to get those to start with, but it's really easy to do those. Save the daytime. 